Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you the Champs News live at 3. Uh, we got a lot going on in the news today. We're going to start out with the blog and the weekend showdown contest. Steve Austin, unpredictable Bionic Man debut. Uh, it's the grand finale uh, of the event. There's uh, up to three five-star emerald tokens in the event. Uh, here's kind of a sneak peek at Austin. I'm assuming I'll have him on my account tomorrow morning to start previewing. Looks like he's got a 10 MP finisher, 100k damage, plus choose row to destroy, and some choose uh, blue snowfall gem at 6 MP here. So those are two of his moves. Um, contest starts um, tomorrow at noon Pacific and ends Monday. Oh, interesting. That's a different end date time than normal. Usually it'll go till noon. It ends at 9 a.m., so that's probably good to be aware of. The 13th at 9 a.m. is Monday morning, uh, 9 Pacific, so that's earlier than normal. Showdown's mail mail starts at noon on Saturday and goes till 4 on Sunday. That's normal time. Becky Lynch flash market. Um, here's the scoring. I will do a breakdown video on this later uh, tonight. Um, Acrobat talent up, Masters of the Universe talent up, no limit on those. Unpredictable loot coin for Bionic Man, uh, three at ten thousand apiece, so thirty thousand there. Otherwise, after that, it's three thousand each loot coin. Max milestone of two point eight million. If you get Steve Austin, it's worth three hundred thousand. Um, two hundred matches with any Masters of the Universe in Showdown. Uh, two hundred of those matches. Uh, any Big E, any Undertaker, any Triple H, any Randy Savage um, combination of matches. I'm sure you'll be able to double dip when do like Motu Big E if you have him, Motu Triple H if you have him, etc. Uh, rewards. Uh, so we got these Premier Bags. Looks like a shot at Austin. And I am recording this live on Twitch, so enjoy, enjoy the Gummy Bear alert. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you're missing out if you're not here live on Twitch. Uh, so here's the Premier Bags, and then the Emerald Token Bags. Uh, you can get up to 12 of these Premiers. 14 of the Masters Shard Bags, we'll see those later. 1.848 million uh, Unpredictable Bionic Man Medallions for the Prize Wall. 100 Steamboat Shards. There's the three Emerald Tokens. 6.6 uh, 6 million coin, 1200 TP hit points. 81,463 solo contest points. That is not a misprint. Uh, there are 81,000 solo contest points. Let's see where they are in the milestones, but uh, that should allow tons of people that thought for sure they were out of it to max the MLC. So you are going to want to do this if you want uh, Steamboat Tech, and he is a good one. So... Um, I think a lot of people are going to be very happy about this number. Let's see where they are in the milestones and hope they're not super, super far uh, back. I kind of think they're going to be, most of them are going to be attainable. That's my guess, uh, but we'll see. Uh, leaderboard rewards, top 25 can get Stone Cold. Uh, faction contest. So you, you will notice, actually, there was no scoring for showdown coins. That's because they're in the faction contest now, um, which is interesting. Uh, of note... In the faction leaderboards, you can get up to a hundred of those premier bags we saw on top. That's right. Whoever's first gets a hundred. No idea how that's going to scale. If second is 50, uh, if third is 25, or if, you know, second is like 90. No idea how that's going to scale. Um, here's the master shard bags they talked about earlier. A lot of ultimate warrior shards, probably, uh, Motu. Also, it looks like a shot at glowing phantom and ray shards. Um, so, faction... You get two random gem skill plate bags, a legendary, any Steve Austin strap with an extra turn. That's kind of cool. Uh, Steve Austin, Master Shard bags, that's those 15. 95,000 of the prize wall coins, uh, sorted tokens, 150,000 faction points for the month long for faction. 7.7 uh, .7 million coins, that's quite nice. 900 TP. 1025 HP. Top 100 leaderboards. 100 of these premier bags. That's kind of bonkers. That's a lot of bags. Um, hopefully that continues down at a decent clip, uh, because that's a lot. And I think that's going to be kind of the big attraction with this weekend, is these bags with all this possible TP uh, and metals. That's a lot of metals. 
boy. Anyway, um, limited time tours. Looks like there's three different tours. Contest superstars, so you can see here, Undertaker, Goldberg, Savage, Goldberg, Triple H, Skull King. Uh, I don't know if you need both of these or not. I guess we'll find out when it's live. Uh, also, you can get 22 Premier Bags, which are these ones from there. 159,000 more Bionic Medallions, 93,000 uh, Faction Points, and then three Five Star Emerald Tokens in there, too. Here's the prize wall. Um, the Smoke Plate for a million, Glowing Phantom for a million, Bad Attitude or Honky Tonk Blues. Honky Tonk Blues is amazing on Steamboat uh, tech. It's great on Kofi. Uh, Glowing Phantom has a lot of uses, including Motu Taker. Uh, it's been a fairly rare plate for me, so that isn't bad. Then you got these assorted straps for Steve Austin, Motu, Savage Motu, and Glowing Phantom Motu, as well as 50 Steamboat shards, potentially. Um, so depending on if you have these guys, some of these straps could be nice for you. There's an anti-stun uh, strap for each of them, a 25% extra turn strap, and then a 20% move damage strap. So some decent stuff in the prize wall. And then we have the five-star silver loot. You can see kind of what it looks like it's going to be in there. So that is the, the big contest this weekend for uh, a pretty awesome-looking Stone Cold who is an acrobat, it seems, which is interesting, but he looks dope. So, you know, hopefully we can get him. I would love him. Uh, so offers. They're, they brought back some really good offers from earlier. Uh, we'll be talking about this loot in particular as well. There is a cash loot live in the game, which looks really good to me. Um, I did do some pulls on it. You'll have to wait to see that video. Uh, I will post it. No spoilers, though. Um, here's the the four Hall of Fame Evo tokens for 15 bucks with 1600 cash. Uh, I said that was a good deal last time as far as Hall of Fame tokens go and what their normal pricing has been. Uh, that still holds true. Um... I am not in the market for Hall of Fame tokens, but if you are, this is probably one of the best ways that I've seen to get them, other than time and you doing showdown. That's how I go for mine, but I could see why people would go for that. Um, this one is the same one that was earlier with the... Nope, this one only has the four-star ones, so this doesn't give you five-star Hall of Fame ones. There are some pretty nice Ray Shard offers in here, too. There's the silver one. Uh, 40 bucks, 70 ray shards in a silver bag, as well as some bonus stuff, including 4,400 cash. Um, there's the bronze one down here, 20 bucks, uh, one bronze bag, 30 ray shards, and 2,200 cash in some bonus stuff. So if you're close to ray, uh, these might be for you. And then there's the $100 one if you're in that market, 12,500 cash, 2 million coins. 150 Ray Shards, and a epic Ray Mysterio Mask of Mystery chest. I believe the minimum on that was 50, and the top was 500, or or pulling him out of 4-star, but don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure minimum the minimum you could get is 50, so this is really like 200 Ray Shards at least guaranteed. So if you're close to Ray, maybe that's worth it to you. Um, we did get new Big E offers. This one has a legendary strap for 100 bucks, but doesn't give you any of the event points. It looks like on the portal, um, none of them are giving bonus event points like we talked about yesterday. Those are in the game, though, and we'll be taking a look at those shortly. So that's the new stuff on there. Don't forget your daily claim. And then also uh, Flash Market, like I said yesterday. Uh, okay, pop up. Um, Charlotte is going to be there long term with the web coins for trivia. Uh, don't forget to do your free reroll. See if we get anything good today. Nothing I have to have. And for the events, uh, if you're buying any of those cash offers, you can double dip. As normal, 4 million coin here, 6 million coin there. Those are pretty big milestones to me. After that, I honestly never look at it because that's way beyond my territory. So. Looks like the next next cat coin loot would be three hundred dollars if it's in here. Yeah, so that's a long way to go. So again, I usually just look at the up to fifty, but you know, you might have a different budget than me. So let's go back over to the game now. We'll check that out. And uh, the biggie offers. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can get to that milestone. Um, 
right here without spending a minimum of 50 bucks so i'm not going to um i may do one loot coin maybe for the million gold and the 100 tp um that probably is worth a loot coin for me so i'll probably do that uh, but I think this one, you're going to need 188,000. Um, you're going to need to buy at least the 50. I didn't math it out. I got kind of excited earlier, so I didn't do the math. Um, but that milestone, you're going to need to uh, spend a fair amount to get. So at the minimum, you have to get this offer. But I don't know if you'll make it even with that. You'll want to calculate it. Um, but it's not like one where you can spend 25 and get there like we've had in the past. So... Uh, for me, this is a, a, a no spend or just buy one loot coin uh, kind of one. Um, what you do is up to you. These are the Ray one offers like we're on the portal. Um, I think they're the same. They look the same. Yep. Uh, there's also a couple Becky bags, uh, which aren't on the portal. If you're close to Becky, um, the basic bag as well as um, the basic bag with more coin and some TP. Uh, if you're not going to be able to max the MLC and you want cash and MLC points, that's their normal cash pricing. These are like a bonus item in it. Not amazing deal. Not terrible. Um, is what it is. Again, um, the finale packs, if you're just close, uh, steamboat's good. So it, keep in mind the timer on those. You got three days so you can see how you do in showdown. No rush there. Um, this one you have 19 hours on though. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you do what you got to do. Steamboat's very good. So if you need to spend a little bit to get him, I would not hold that against anyone because uh, he's really good. Don't forget your free claim here. And the last thing we're going to look at is the cash loot, which uh, looks pretty good to me. And um, in combined with all the offers, we had double tap joy last weekend over the holiday. So a lot of people sitting on some cash. I'm no different myself. I did do uh, pulls on this one. Um, which I will post and you can see uh, later. Uh, so featured is only 1.75%. However, there are no shards in it. So it's not being diluted by shards. And there's a lot of fairly rare good cards in here. Um, you got Hollywood, Montez, Priest, Ted DiBiase, um, Ivar, Tyler Breeze a lot of people still don't have, Ray. These two aren't quite as rare, obviously. Some A lot of people, though, if you miss the X-Pac event, maybe you don't have X-Pac still. Uh, Fiend is still kind of rare. Boogeyman is rare. I still don't have Macho Man. I don't have Boogeyman either. Uh, this one, not so rare. AJ, kind of pretty rare still. Uh, Alistair Black, still kind of rare. High Chief is definitely rare. Uh, Sid and Lashley, also rare. So as far as loot goes... That's pretty good. There's not, it's not diluted with a lot of not good stuff. So even though the featured percentage isn't high, your odds seem better than normal to me. Uh, super rare is 7.6%. There's some decent stuff in there too. Um, Elias, Mr. T, Honky Tonk Man, um, The Outsiders, if you uh, need either of them. Um, Hollywood, Asuka, Montez, NWO, Macho. So still, that's pretty solid. There are some shards in here. However, they're mostly useful shards. And that's a 7.6%. Uh, the next two, rares and commons. I think there might be a few good things in the rares. Ember's still pretty rare. Um, and then you got shards. Uh, Ray shards and Bianca, Hollywood. And then commons are pretty common. Uh, but there are some decent shards if you're close to Ray um, or Bianca, then maybe that helps too. Uh, overall, you get 45 pulls. So uh, I think as far as cash loot goes, this one is pretty good. Like I said, I, I did some pulls on those. You can see how those went. Uh, there's also a Strowman cash loot, uh, which I haven't actually looked at yet. I think this might be new. Uh, high featured percentage. But let's see how diluted it is. And uh, a lot of different tiers here. You, cash loot, you know, guys know I normally like looking at the shards in the commons. So let's see what's all in here. This is... Russian isn't super rare, but otherwise it's looking pretty good so far. Dango's not... Uh, so... Oh, Booker... Uh, why do they got to do that? Um, it's not terrible. 
but it's not amazing. But the featured is pretty high. Um, into the mega rares, six percent. There's some definitely some rares in here, for sure. Dock ins too. Um, but then you get, of course, a, although no shards. So really, this one's looking pretty spicy too. It doesn't look too bad. Let's see how many pulls you get. Thirteen percent here. Eddie is still really rare. I still don't have Hall of Fame Eddie. Um, so that one's not bad. Very rare, Baronist, Mr. T, uh, Drew, Elias, Walter. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. Uncommon bronze in there, probably not weighted the same. Um, and then commons, here's your shards. So if you need Farouk and you're close, Mr. T, Drew, or Braun, um, probably going to be a decent loot. And 32 pulls, so not as many pulls, but it looks to be solid as well. Both of these are cash loots that I like, um, and we covered the other loots before. So I like both of those cash loots. As long as we're here, let's do uh, seven briefcase pulls for you guys. I'm going to skip all to see if there's anything interesting. And, um, oh, hey, a Seamus Fuse. All right, I'll take that. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to cover it for the news. I don't think there was anything else I was going to talk about today. Good luck this showdown weekend. Uh, I'll do a breakdown video on the scoring later tonight. And uh, you're definitely going to want to check out my poll video for sure. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, love to hear what you have to say in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that, good luck out there, guys.